How's it going everybody? Cub Fan here and today is a short video on how to build my new mushroom farm which I've designed for Minecraft 1.5.2 and 1.6 so let me go ahead and show you exactly how to build it it's a lot more resource efficient than my old design and it also takes up less space and yields more mushrooms um, so first of all, let's see how to use it. So you come in here, see this pressure plate here, you step on this, water comes down, you'll see some mushrooms coming down here. And this is after about an hour of growth, and this is a smaller design here. Alright, so from that harvest we ended up with a total of 32 mushrooms since I started off with uh, one brown mushroom and one red mushroom in my inventory already. And so basically the idea is that there are uh, mushrooms underneath uh, the block right there and also this right one. And over time uh, mushrooms can grow uh, through the solid block to the surface up here where they can then be pushed by the water into the water stream and then collected all at the central point down here and then once we step off the pressure plate the dispensers pick the water back up and the mushroom growing can resume so that's the basic concept of how the farm works and I should say this 30, 32 mushroom harvest is only on this farm and it's only been going for about an hour so it's pretty practical to build uh, even in survival so let me go ahead and uh, tell you the materials you need to build this so you'll need some solid blocks of any type I used uh, cyan stained clay and hardened clay you will also need some half slabs some redstone a couple redstone repeaters some seed mushrooms to start the farm you also need a couple dispensers and the same number of water buckets, some signs, and one pressure plate. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what we need to do to build this. So uh, wherever you're going to go ahead and build your mushroom farm, you're going to want to dig down two blocks and make that trench three wide and nine blocks long. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me just clear out the rest of this area here. Just like that. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and lay down some redstone here. So we'll place our block here and our pressure plate on top, wherever we want the front of our mushroom farm to be. Place redstone directly below that, to the left and to the right. Then on the left side, we'll come out an additional one, two, three blocks here. And then we'll make uh, our circuit, which will turn our pressure plate into a uh, double pulse. Uh, so we'll go ahead and place down these repeaters. And make sure you get these repeaters exactly right, because if they're not exactly right, uh, it won't work correctly. So place down a repeater, place it on three ticks, another repeater on three ticks. Repeater facing to, into the side of this repeater on four. Repeater here on three. Repeater here on three. And then take redstone, and you're going to want to go in a zigzag pattern like that to a block at the end. And make that a repeater there instead of dust. And then dust on top. So the whole circuit should look like that. And now whenever you step on the pressure plate, you should see it pulse. And when you step off, you should also see it pulse again, just like that. So that's how you'll know if you have it done correctly. So once you have the double pulse working, then you can go ahead and cover in all the blocks here. And the only one you want to keep open is this block right here in the far uh, left hand corner of your trench and there you put a half slab and redstone on top of that and that will be the start of your redstone tower here next thing you're going to do is you're going to place two blocks down directly in front of your pressure plate then you'll come out 
place another block in front of the blocks you just placed. Then you want to come one, two, three blocks over, and then one, two, three, four blocks out. And we're going to make a five by seven rectangle here. So we'll come over six more blocks on this side. I think that's right. Four more there. And like that. And let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by one, two, three, four, five. All right, perfect. Once your five by seven area is complete, go ahead and drop in and we're gonna keep uh, a sort of half circle around where the mushrooms will go. So the mushrooms will go in there. And to put the mushrooms down, you'll make a structure like this where it's dark inside. We'll place a red mushroom down in this one and then cover it up once we're done. Make sure you don't update this block, otherwise that'll happen. So once you place it down, don't update that, that block. Place that down there again. All right, cover that back up. And we'll do the same on the opposite side, except we'll put down a brown mushroom. And the reason we alternate is due to the limitations of mushroom growth. The game basically checks for a certain type of mushroom within four blocks of that mushroom. And if it sees one, it won't grow. So this basically helps us to maximize our efficiency. Uh, then we'll go ahead and around the outside here, we'll place down blocks, just like so. Just like that, okay come to the back and we'll place half slab down like this and then on top of our blocks here run out redstone like that then we'll take out these clay blocks and put dispensers in and these are where our water buckets will go and we'll also extend the front of this a little bit just so it's like that and then we'll fill this with water buckets both of the dispensers here and now what should happen is when we step on this pressure plate both of these dispensers should fire and when we step off the pressure plate they should fire once more so let's go ahead and see if that happens step on it fires water comes right to the edge here step off they fire again and the water goes down perfect Okay, and the next thing we need to do is to create our second layer. So our second layer will go right on top of the first layer. So we'll just go ahead and make an area where we can put our mushrooms down. And we'll do that first. So our mushrooms will go right on top of this block here. So we'll go ahead and put ourselves in here. And we'll go with a brown mushroom here. Keeping with the alternating pattern both vertically and horizontally. Cover that up, do the same thing on this side. So we'll go ahead and make an area, put our mushroom in there, there we are. And case ourselves and we'll put a red mushroom there. All right, cover that one up. Okay, so then our floor will then become this thing here where all the hardened clay blocks are. So uh, we'll go ahead and build up around that. Just like so. All right, there we go. And then to contain this, we'll go ahead and place blocks all the way around the outside in a five by seven rectangle, leaving of course this middle part open. just like so. And then don't forget to extend this out. Uh, you want to extend it out two blocks and leave a gap here. And here you will need a sign. So we'll just look for a sign. There we are. Place a sign on the block in front of uh, the two blocks we just placed like there. Uh, so basically the water will hit this 
and then the, the items will drop down to right in front of where we stand on the pressure plate. Next up is the same thing as before in the previous layers. So get rid of the two blocks here and here. And you're going to want to place dispensers facing this direction like so. We will place some water buckets inside of there. And that one as well. And then on the back here what you'll do is you'll take some slabs. Place one down there. Redstone on top. And then we'll do something like this. Slab there, red some on top of there. And so that's our second layer done. So let's just see that in action. And you'll see the water comes up to right here. And then all the uh, mushrooms will drop down here once they grow and the water shuts off once we step off the pressure plate. Okay, so from this point it's basically a rinse and repeat type of deal. So you just start creating your next floor and keep in mind you have to put mushrooms there and in that gap there and wire up the redstone the same for the, the dispensers and you can keep going in this pattern for six levels so I'll show you what you need to do to extend this after the sixth level now just by building the rest of this thing up alright everybody so I built up the mushroom farm so that it's six layers tall and I think I got this color scheme wrong here that's supposed to be hard and clay there there we go uh, so we step on the pressure plate we'll make sure that all these layers are working looks like they are and they all should go off here all right. Uh, make sure you have the signs in front so it prevents the water streams from falling down. And if we come to the back here, I'll show you we have uh, uh, six dispensers on each side here, and then the redstone uh, stair step pattern going up like a zipper. And the problem once you get to six uh, six layers here is this. So if we start counting from here, there's a repeater leading into this block. So that's it. Signal strength 15. Uh, so it's 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So basically the problem is that the signal strength beyond six layers is zero. So to fix that problem, what we're going to do is this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put a block down here, block behind uh, the dispenser here, and then we'll go ahead and take a repeater, feed it into this block here, dust on top, dust on top of the dispenser. Then we'll go ahead and we'll place a full block diagonally from this piece of redstone here. So that'll cut off the signal there, just like that. Okay. And then from here, uh, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and continue the normal stair step pattern up like this. And then we'll go ahead and build our next layer here. So I'll do that real quickly. Uh, we'll just make our floor here, place our mushrooms down in here. Go ahead and place our red mushroom down there. There we go, there's that one. And then for this one, we'll go ahead and place a brown one down. Just like so, pretty straightforward. Brown one there. Okay, cover it up. Fill in the rest of the floor on this level. Just like so. and out add the next layer on which is the cyan dyed clay bring it across here get our dispensers in here right there right there put some water buckets in those babies like that Get our sign. Should have a sign here somewhere. 
There we are. Put that right there. Extend this four out too. And then on the back side, all we need to do now is to continue to go up like that. And then we'll continue the pattern as we normally have. Uh, so then we just, uh, for example, for the next uh, next layer, we'll just have something like this. Redstone. We'll have a half slab like that. Then we'll go up to the next layer and so on and so forth. So you can just draw it up like that. And let me just show you that this now, the signal now reaches up to these dispensers here. So I step on it. Alright. And you can see the top layer is out and then it retracts. So it does work. That's how you extend it. And once you've reached your top layer, I'll show you what to do uh, next. Okay, everybody, so I went ahead and increased the height of this to 18 levels. Let me go around the back and show you the back. Uh, so this is the first transition level uh, that you need to have. And then the second transition level is a little bit different due to the spacing of the half slabs, but that's what I did for the second transition level there. So pretty straightforward. And then uh, once you have those two, this, uh, this section... These sections can all repeat indefinitely uh, up to world height. And I do recommend you build this farm uh, up to level 128. Um, so let's just test it out to be sure it works. I think it should. Let's see if we have any mushrooms falling down. Yep, we do have a few mushrooms falling down. Looking like it's all working there. And they all retracted. Okay. And now the next thing you want to do is you want to cover the top of this. So just go ahead and use any uh, solid block. Cover the top. Cover the whole top here. Because mushrooms can't grow in a light level of more than 11. Um, and then you're going to want to go ahead and cover... Um, all this redstone and the front here. So you're going to want to come out one and drop down like so. So just bring this all the way down just so it makes it darker in there and the mushrooms can uh, grow. And then what I typically do is I typically go ahead and make something like this like a little passageway just like this and that makes it so it's even more difficult for light to get in there there we go cover that up and we'll do the same on the other side and so I'll go ahead and cover all of this redstone up and I'll be back so then once you are done filling in the areas where light could get into your farm, you are then done. All you need to do is wait for the mushrooms to grow. You can also add some optional features. For example, you can put some, uh, like a door here in this archway. Or you could put a hopper here where the mushrooms collect. And all the mushrooms will go into a hopper, which could lead to a chest uh, further down or something like that. So that's another feature you could add. But that's all for this tutorial, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you did. It helps out the channel quite a bit. And thanks for watching. This has been CubFan. Goodbye.